What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, Rupert Alexander Macias. Um, I have another video for you guys. This video is just a car talks. This video is just about, you know, me discussing whatever I want within the subject of this video. And to be quite honest, I'm feeling introspective in this very moment. And as in general, I am a very introspective person. And one of the things I want to touch on in the subject of this video is perspective. Because perspective is quite literally an ability and can ultimately be seen as a power if you gain control on how you view this perspective and ultimately understand how you can utilize the idea of perspective to your advantage in the present moment. And so typically, for example, how we are raised and how we grow up as an adolescent to an adult, um, you know, everything has to be taken into account into the individual you become when you grow older. In order to understand who you are as an adult, you have to take a look back at your childhood. And by doing this, you're putting yourself in a reflective state of mind. Meaning, when you look back at your childhood, what are some major things that shaped you up to be the adult you are now, good or bad? Usually, not usually, it's a fact. We are a product of our environment. Meaning, the environment we were raised in has an influence on us to the ability that we ultimately become a product of it. So if you grew up in a bad or good household and that idea alone of good or bad is subjective, it's, it's just totally on you and your reasons of good and bad and your opinions on it are valid. Nobody can take that away from you because that was your childhood experience. No one else can belittle what you feel and what you have to say about your childhood experience. The idea here is to understand your childhood experience and overall kind of understand who you are in the present moment. But in order to do that, you have to reflect on your past, not just your childhood, but even your recent past. Because experience is the best teacher. And in order for us to learn, the best way to learn is to go through things in life, good or bad. What I like to preach is there is more of a win from losing than there is from winning. Because when you lose, you have reason to be better. And when you win, it's like most people become content because they think that they've reached the max. They won, they won the race. But this is how I view it. Winning is the goal. And if you win, don't feel satisfied. But if you lose, this is the perspective that I am challenging not only myself, but you to view. And this is the quite the idea of it where it becomes a power because it's all perspective, meaning how you choose to view it. So the perspective being there is more success from loss than there is from winning. Why do I say that? Because you can win, but you can either settle and be content or you can win and find more reason to keep winning. But most people settle because they feel like that's it. But what I believe is there is more success from losing than winning because when you lose, it teaches you more about yourself than it does winning. Because it shows you where you lost, 
where your mistakes were made, where you failed to apply more effort, that extra oomph, where were you lacking? You learn more from losing than you do from winning, but people feel the opposite. They feel that when you lose, that you lost, you're not good, you're not sufficient enough, you weren't credible enough, you weren't valuable enough, you weren't worth it. But that's not how I see it. I see it as you lost. Therefore, you won more from the winner because now you have that chance to grow as opposed to the winner. Most people who win oftentimes just become content. And yes, you have those people that keep growing and growing. That's the idea is to keep growing, never be satisfied. But in life, once people feel like they made it, they, they, they became a content creator and they blew up and they got a first million views and then they just slow down, then become stale and then it digresses and then before you know it, they're back where they started because they never kept winning. They won once and they thought that was it. Their life is secured. They don't have to put any more effort in. But the loser, the loser, the person who kept losing is the one that is hungrier than the person who won. Because they have reason, they have purpose, they have will. They keep that hunger and thirst to win is very much alive. And this is what I believe perspective comes into play. Because everything that I just said is perspective. People would view losing as a loss and winning as a win. But I view losing as a win and winning still as a win, but can be more than a loss than a win in the bigger picture. Perspective. You can be going through a lot in life. And how do you deal with it? That's for you to understand. Reflect on your childhood. Think about who you were because your childhood essentially is the foundation of who you are as a person and how you treat others. Who was around you? Who were the biggest influences when you were a kid? Because you are a product of your environment. Was your environment healthy or unhealthy? Hmm, does that tie into the reason why you are social or antisocial as an adult? Does that tie into why you are a very enthusiastic person with the bubbly attitude or a very just mellow, glum, you know, quiet person because of your childhood? You know, everything has a, a point A to point B and it's up to you to understand that given it's very important to take the time to dig deep within your internal self, be real and reflect with yourself in order to understand who you are and why you are the way you are for the sake of maximizing your true innate abilities as a human being. And when I say abilities, I mean simple things like perspective, right? Because perspective is ultimately how you view life. And if you can understand your perspective, you can almost be a step or two ahead of the population because most people don't take the time to even do that. Most people don't know who they are. Most people don't know their likes or dislikes. Most people don't know the type of uh, relationship they need, not want, need. Most people don't know what they expect out of themselves when they're in their mid-20s. Most people don't know what they're really capable of because they don't bother to look deep within themselves. But in order, to le in order to dig deep within yourself, you need to understand perspective because that perspective is everything. Okay, you're going through a hard phase in life, but I can almost bet you anything no matter who you are and what you're going through, you could be homeless, you could be in debt, you could have went through a failed pregnancy. I mean, God forbid, but everyone goes through very harsh things in life. 
That's what life is about. There needs to be bad in order for there to be good. And in order for there to be good, there needs to be bad. Yin, yang, duality, balance. One needs the other in order to exist. It's impossible. You need multiplication in order to have division. You need subtraction in order to have addition. You need up in order to have down. You need left in order to have right. We have one eyeball, we have another. We have one nostril, we have another. We have one hand, we have another. One unibrow, or one eyebrow, another eyebrow. Unless you have two unibrows. <laughs> Laps around your whole eyeball. Get the idea, right? You know? Duality. One, two. Male, female. Perspective. One view, the other view. Good view or bad view. Win mentality or loss mentality. I bet you anything. You could be going through the absolute worst. And I'm not discrediting your pain at all. Your pain is valid. And that is not a reason for your pain to be compared to others. It is a reason for you to validate your pain. And give yourself a chance to understand your pain and understand who you are so that you can overcome that pain. Don't let your pain go to waste. That pain can be used for something great. For something you don't even know you got until you do. Experience is the best teacher. But how would you know until you try? My point given. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself the opportunity to figure out that perspective, that yin-yang, that balance, that duality, that left and right. Hate love. You know what I mean? It's the idea of most people are closed-minded because they, they know what they believe and that's what they're gonna, gonna believe for the rest of their life. I say excuse my language, fuck no. I keep an open mind and and that doesn't mean that I don't know what I believe in. It means I know what I believe in, but I keep an open mind when it comes to discussions, when it comes to learning new things, when it comes to trying new things, because I don't know if I will agree with something else unless I give that a chance and truly try to understand it. But for the simple fact that I'm not going to believe it or agree with it because of what I was taught and close my mind off to that idea completely and not give it a chance is simply selfish on my end because I am limiting myself from growth. Again, it goes back to how would you know until you try? How would you know that religion fits you better than the religion you've known all your life? until you take a chance and try it out. You wouldn't know, right, until you do that. How would you know you would love this hobby of, I don't know, uh, taking pictures if you've never done it? You have to try in order to figure it out. How would you know the kind of person you expect out of, uh, say, a man or a woman in marriage if you haven't dated a few people if you date one type of person over and over and over and over and over again because i don't know growing up you were just taught that you should only date this race this person that believes in this religion only this ethnicity you know i respect people's I respect people's beliefs and views, but I just want to say for the simple fact that this video is all about perspective, you have to have perspective in this conversation, meaning be receptive to what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is, I say that's bull crap. Why? Because yes, hold on to what you know, because it's what you know, it's what you were taught. But how would you find yourself if you don't look outside of what you were taught? Again, it's what you were taught. But it's not what you, what you agree with. It's just what you were taught. 
So how would you know what you believe in, what you expect out of a partner, what you expect out of a religion, a faith, out of your household, out of your family, out of your siblings, if you don't take a chance and discover that within you, that perspective, you're limiting it because of what you know, but you're not expanding on it. Again, you're looking linear instead of multiple directions. You're looking in one linear direction, which to me is selfish to do to yourself because you're limiting yourself from growth. There's so much more to learn, not only about you, but new things if you open your mind up. Again, open your perspective. Life is on perspective. You can be going through the worst, but I can guarantee you, you can find reasons to still be positive. You can name a hundred negatives right off the bat. You could be homeless. You can say all these negative things. You could be a debt. You could have a miscarriage, but I can tell you right now, I challenge you, look at the positive. You are alive. You had a meal today. You are breathing. Your mom called you and told you, I love you. Your brother messaged you, good morning. Your phone is still has service. Your teeth are healthy. You still have glasses to see. You still have a job. You can find many, many, many reasons to be negative, but challenge your perspective to finding many, many reasons to be open. Because perspective is not linear. Perspective is multiple, multi-dimensional almost. Perspective means just the broad view of things. Let me look at this perspective. I see a tree, I see a car, I see grass, I see multiple things. Why am I just looking straight and ignoring all the beauty around me when I can garner the perspective around me and acknowledge the fence, acknowledge the sky, acknowledge the tree, acknowledge the bushes, acknowledge the other cars, but instead I'm looking linear, shutting all that out and deciding to just focus on what I know, which is what is ahead of me. I hope this video provided some insight. I don't know where I was going with this video other than perspective. This video was built on perspective. It was built on the idea of talking about it and you as a viewer being receptive to the idea of perspective because I'm challenging your view sets. This takes a lot of internal reflection, but you can rewire your brain if you really want to. It takes work, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual, repetitive work, but through genuine, authentic effort, you can do it, and it could be one of the best things you do for yourself because you learn so much about you, ultimately leading to another level of independence, ultimately leading to another level of intelligence, ultimately leading to another level of being grounded, enlightened, because you have perspective. You've broadened your view on life. When you're going through something shitty, your car breaks down, you have the ability to view perspective and see things in a positive way rather than already acknowledge what's what's happened, which is my car broke down. Fuck, man. My, I, I just paid this. I all these negative thoughts right away. You're projecting them. Acknowledge the positive first. Oh, okay. Car broke down, but I didn't get in that car accident. Oh, car broke down, but at least one tire popped, but there's three that are still inflated car broke down but i i didn't hurt anybody else car broke down but i'm still alive car broke down but i i i barely damaged the wheel and now the repair isn't that expensive perspective the same way you look for perspective in negativity is the same way you can look for perspective in the positivity that's how i managed to stay so strong in the 
recent past because I've gone through a lot these past two, three years, man. And I can give you a hundred reasons to be negative because I've been through it. I can tell you about bad, but that's not to say that I'm comparing my bad to yours because you will never know what it's like to be in my shoes and I will never know what it's like to be in your shoes. So it's not my job to say my bad is worse than yours, but it is my job to say that I know what it feels like to be feeling pain but I also know what it feels like to persevere through that pain because you have perspective. Basically, the view and mindset that allows you to push through instead of get stuck there. Because although I could tell you a hundred reasons that my recent past was shit, I choose to tell you a hundred reasons why my recent past built me up, such as this video. Because my recent past was hard, but it gave me perspective. And now I am making this video to give to the internet and share it with hopefully a few individuals that may benefit from this. I really hope so. So anyways, what I'm saying is perspective. Keep an open mind. Much love. This video is getting long. Hopefully you guys enjoy this car talks. It's been a while. I have some people trying to really, 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 really... Uh, stop my uploads, put some blockages here and there, make it hard and difficult, but I always overcome. I always persevere. I won't give them the time of day. I will keep rising to the top. Again, perspective. They will keep doing what they want to do, but they won't hinder my walk with God and most of all, my walk with myself because they are just there and they aren't at all infringing my life they aren't at all bothering me they aren't at all gonna affect my mood they're not gonna affect my emotional state my spiritual state my physical state why because i will not give them that power again that is